And we're live! Anyways, yeah, so free analysis thoughts. Uh, what the fuck happened to the 2H losing to 6P? Did that, like, was that what happened? And uh, is Far Slasher 5K a better default poke? In neutral, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, against Leo specifically, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is your, yeah, I guess, by the way, your 5K is like fucking frame seven or something, right? Uh. I think so. It yeah. was my you guys second go ahead fastest and, poke. Like, keep talking. I'll look it up. Yeah, it was my second fastest poke behind 5P. Because 2P was pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seven actually... frame. Congratulations on getting Nago's 5K this patch. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's actually kind of insane. <laughs> yeah, I I heard <laughs> someone say that earlier today on a stream, and I'm like, that can't be right. Then I thought about it. <laughs> Yeah, it actually hits crouchers now. It's amazing. Yup. But okay, so those are like the two big ones for you? Uh, I mean, there's other uh, interactions I could think of, but like the big ones. Maybe okay. like if I had more time to use 6H more in pressure or in neutral. Like, it, at the ranges that Tyler dashes 5k, I just don't think I can stuff it out. And that's like the biggest thing for me as fast. I mean... Dash 5k is like, it's not like exactly fast. It's fast to cover its range, but it's like doing dash 5k is like at least 10 to 12 frames of startup. So it's like, it's like hitting a far slash. But I'm just moving faster mm -hmm. or moving yeah. towards you. I would say it's, <laughs> it's akin to a far slash, except the situation after it is better for Leo. Um, but he's like risking more doing it. Also, because of the momentum, it travels further, so, like, whiff punishing with it is real good, but... Yeah. Uh, what yeah, about so you, if, like, really, if I try to try to throw 2H to um, outplay against <coughs> 6P, or if I try to 2P, I lose to 5K, dash 5K. If I try to 5P, uh, that's a response. Well, I guess 2P versus 5K would be, like, a timing thing, but... Yeah. It doesn't it airborne... When he dash no. 5k's? No, uh, you're no, thinking you, of dash 2d. Uh, so it's like, uh, it's like, uh, May Dolphins, where I can, like, hit it when it's. it's yeah, not you can slap airborne. my knees. Or yep. slap my feet. Yeah, 5k does not go airborne at all. 2d, the, like, drop kick move, is airborne, and that one probably beats 2p, but is, uh, yeah. also, like, close slash punishable now, so. Yeah, I'm not too worried about 2d anymore. Like, mm -hmm. fast gets 5P, uh, 5k, 6p, mix, mix, mix into Oki. Sure. And that's like a, a good punish. Alright, uh, what about you, Tyler? Preview I don't thought. have anything <laughs> particular that stands out other than I think stuff happened in neutral or like. I, I, I don't know. It's mostly like I felt like I wasn't exactly knowing what I was doing sometimes other than he's over there. I will get over there. And I would just dash block at them. So I'm just like, maybe I could do that better or something. I don't know. Sure. I felt the need to quote that initial one. But uh, yeah, so not sure what the game plan was besides approach and especially with yeah. dash block. Yeah. Yes, it felt like I was trying to RPS neutral a bit too much. Okay. But I don't know. Because I was definitely gambling a lot with, like, dash 2D, which worked out, but I, I definitely don't think it's very good doing it as much as I did. But I guess it was working, so I kept doing it. Okay. Sure, I think that's a good starting point. There we go. All right. <laughs> so, I, knew that I, I muted you. Stay muted. <laughs> Get muted. So let's see. So a lot of uh, what both of you guys mentioned was like specific move interactions or just like what to do in neutral. So I think that unless something really jumps out to either of you, um, we'll just go ahead and basically like ignore uh, combos and like pressure, yeah. pressure. You know, like the difference between like, hello, you are in like, Oki or back turn pressure and have to guess versus like, 
hello, I have done dash 5k and you blocked it, because that's like, it's still like neutral light. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess one other thing, I, I guess I mentioned to you before you started recording, which was mm -hmm. I was like trying to feel out how my offense actually works. So like trying to choose options that actually beat the counterplay to the options I've already presented. Because I've done tons of times where I'm like, all right, I've successfully gotten them to respect my pressure. Now it's time to do this really slow interruptible move. Now that you've respected my pressure and they mashed, of course they get a mash. Mm. Because I just <laughs> did the, I already just did the really big thing that called out their respect. So now they're going to try to not respect it. Let me tell you like, right now, um, on the tower doing close slash dash close slash 6h is a it just gives you a counter hit it's unblockable <laughs> like <laughs> i swear to god yeah. i just do it all the time on on tower and i'm like well thank you for the like 40 percent life into oki or a wall break yeah nice. it's like i i i noticed that I, I i would sometimes do this on accident because i'm just like not realizing that I am choosing a different option that still gets beaten by the thing that already beats the option I already did. Sure. So yeah. I'm just like... Okay. Yeah, that, that's a real good thing. Also, if you haven't seen it, uh, Ramala actually put up a video about that like three days ago or something. That yeah. is why I started noticing I did All this right. shit. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah, I forgot that was an overhead, and I forgot yeah. I just didn't react, I think. <laughs> I, it's been, like, a while since the two of you have played, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, the... Actually. I haven't... The last time I was up, I didn't play against Tyler. I am so surprised that 2k hit, by the way. I mean... We played in net play, but... <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Not in bracket. But, like, first like, time in bracket in a while. Bruh. <laughs> yeah? I have... Yeah. I don't okay. know why. See, uh, Mix must have see. just not been active yet. <laughs> That's all it was. I think it turns... Yeah. Well, okay, I was going to say I think it turns red when it's active. Um, so what that means is uh, he is on the neon blue skin, so this was one frame before active because the glow had started but was not there yet. <laughs> yeah. It, just framing me. <laughs> yeah, that meant to be a DP, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I kicked the bomb. Right. I, I just okay. Real block quick. When that shit comes out. Real quick. Um, this is a change that actually fucked me up a couple times online. So the little minion dude has ex. It's not just that he starts faster. It's that you trigger him and he immediately does two attacks. Him stomping his foot and throwing the tantrum at the start is now a hitbox. So I'm used yeah, to being able to trigger him and then do something that will then avoid him. But he just like fucking hits you immediately now. <laughs> Get frame trap. Yeah, I, I specific. Yeah, I, I saw the other six H, so I was ready to react to that one. Mm -hmm. Tick throw. Respect. Overhead. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think mm -hmm. I did the overhead there. Yeah, I did the overhead there because I, I think I knew I could kill here, with a uh, guard crush. Sure. Okay. And I also normally when I do that, I also stance cancel, but I specifically delayed the stance cancel in case I wanted to kill. Okay. But, yeah. I guess that one was one of the ones where I actually did something smart. Alright, I'll just throw that in there. Anything immediately jump out to you, Dre, besides just, like, there were items and hits happening? Uh, I just got pushed back in the corner. Uh, I'm <laughs> trying to think of what yeah. I would have done differently, but... Can't think of anything right now. Yeah, uh, I also think I had like fairly good like awareness of the items you were throwing at that point. Because I was like when I saw the weight, I'm like, okay, jump. I saw the thing that I knew had changes, so I didn't do anything. So I was, <laughs> didn't want to get hit. Fair Wait, enough. can we do a run can we run it back? Sure. Just one time. Yeah, let's uh let's specifically watch for how you get pushed back. Cause like you take space initially, um, and then get pushed back basically full screen behind your items. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I lose like the first two interactions to just push them to the corner. Minion minion. Yeah, jump the weight. I get the plus frames. Oh yeah, I ended my pressure wrong oh. there. I shouldn't two S. If that was a fuck up. Yeah, I think you're... Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Because that is... He if I don't cancel that, I'm minus, like, 30. That? Die, that? Yeah. Wow, holy shit. Yeah, okay. I'm, I die. 
What is your yeah, you uh, your frame trap option there? Is it just five H? It's two H. Two okay. S two H. Uh, and then I should have close slash. Usually you frame trap from close slash. Mm -hmm. Uh, so even then, actually, I think that five H because you can do two S five H, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I yeah. That, I, that is probably the better option here, specifically because it is Leo. Because uh, yeah. if you two H at this range. Uh, he can maybe DP the gap, but also he can probably just DP your entire follow-up set. Uh, whereas 5H is... It's yeah, five like H minus push... 5 or something wild, right? Yeah, it, it pushes me out, and if I delay it a little bit, I can frame trap with that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So just that, that was just a bad option <laughs> to us. <laughs> Let's see. Block string enders. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think that one was also, like, a bit awkward because I got OTG'd by the minion and you ran up mm -hmm. and just, like, scramble, hit a button, and you were like, oops, bad button. So the reason why you would 2S in that situation is that it's a better uh, uh, jump out trap. Yeah. Than just, mm -hmm. like, 2 k because sometimes 2K will whiff, so 2S, well, 2S will ensure you hit them on the way up. Is there a reason to do uh, 2S here over close slash, though? Because close slash would be like um, the go-to default in something like this, especially now that it's like if, plus one or something, right? <laughs> if I didn't get the d uh, dash enough, if I didn't dash far enough in, I'd want to. That is far slash. Yeah. Fair. I want far, if I get far slash on, it's that. Yeah. There goes all my pressure. Okay, false close slash like... is minus one. That I mean, my out. only follow from there is like far slash mix 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 if they jump. Oh shit! My well, close if slash I is hit plus jumping. Now. Maybe 5k would have been better. I keep forgetting that I can do that. That moves pretty mm -hmm. good now. Especially on Oki. Like, it's active for quite a bit. It's like 7 Holy... frames or something. Okay, yeah, I have it up. It is 8 frames active? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you can make that plus, right? <laughs> yeah, it's 8 yeah, active, late... recovery, yeah. 8 minus 2. So that can be up to plus 6 or 7? Yeah, if you what the it, right? Yeah. Bro, it's a good thing this move is on Faust, because I think this is just better than Nago's 5k. What Wait, the hell? Yeah. You, could the, you could do the yeah, Kai he... tech of doing super meaty 5k and then block reversals afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you can kind of, link to, like, <coughs> other moves after. 5k links to 6h, links to 2d. Especially, like, on late hit. Then yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, uh, you could. You could do dash cancel 5k into a snip. Uh, that was a sad interaction. Let's see. 5h yeah, no, here. Okay, that, yeah, that makes sense. I did. I was like incredibly ballsy there. I I felt like a, I don't know. I definitely wasn't trying to hit mix mix mix. I thought I was trying to call out an item toss, but yeah, God. that that's what I figured. Is I was looking at this and I'm like, we'll see. What is Dre's defensive option set after 2h? And you did mix mix mix, which always I, moves I you mix, forward mix. at the start, right? You can't like retreat yeah. with it. Uh, you can't pull it back, yeah. Okay, so your not options right, are right away. mix, 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 throw an item, scarecrow, or let it recover and block, right? That's like the whole list? Yeah. Yeah, that's the... Okay. That's the set play there. Yeah. Um. And so mix, mix, mix was there to call out... I know that Tyler likes to challenge my item tosses, so that's supposed to frame trap and catch, uh, dashing. But... Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you had time to dash, not only dash. I think maybe you accidentally <laughs> delayed the mix, mix, mix too much. Um, or something. Let me see, because that's actually what I, I was looking know. for. It's like, because yeah, see, here's I, freeze frames. So because of, because of how you how close one, you two, block three, two four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, uh, and this is at thirty FPS. So you delayed this a lot. Which I'm guessing was to try and frame trap, which is, like, not yeah. bad on its own. But, okay, I was going to say, I thought that you had cancelled this correctly. I was going to be like, I would just really advise against 2H at that range. Because if Leo can, like, dash 5k to punish it, then I think dash 5k beats the whole option set. But no, Mix here, yeah, yeah this is just, like, a timing issue is all. Yeah, and it probably would have frame trapped better if I did it at the proper distance, which that was a little close. But mm -hmm. that was more, like... Afraid they would try to stuff item toss if I went for it. Yeah, I mean, this one, it just, like, just straight up, like, he hit you by one frame. The cancel was, like, into the falling over animation. I just, so I don't it, get it how, 
I don't get how it's not active when the whole animation was there for like a few frames already. <laughs> uh, there's yeah. a decent number of moves that are like that actually. Um, <laughs> especially like long lingering ones like that. But... Yeah. I know it has a terrible hitbox though, so if you even like raise it slightly up, like mm -hmm. it will whiff against lows. Yep. Okay, let's see. What do both of you think about that YRC there? I mean, I think it's fine, but uh, I think if you're going to try to do a 50 meter option there, I guess YRC is less risky because it will basically always work. What was the block stream before? Uh, it was so 5 5K. Well, it was 5K, YRC, uh, YRC hit 6K. Uh, yeah. Okay. I probably was trying to like BRC throw or something. Yeah, because okay. uh, is there? It's like there is a one hundred percent gap between five k six k or a one frame gap. So, like if you wanted to use fifty meter to get out, you could reversal super or uh, super PRC, dash, like super PRC, PRC probably. But no, I was like more. I was more looking for the throw there. That was yeah. the mindset okay. at the time. Yeah, I was just. I wasn't sure if this was just a uh, like the YRC equivalent of a panic burst. Because I was going to yeah. say, if so, <laughs> remember the YRC. Just like passively as we're going on, I want you to watch how long it takes you to start gaining meter again. Yeah. 2H meant to be a DP. So like, I block scalpel and I start taking space off yeah, of see, that I... bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real quick yeah. here, by the so way. So that recovery, um, I don't think that's supposed to be This, real. you are in uh, the like air crumple state. You can block during this, but you cannot take any other action. This means you were holding straight back, which is why that is a purple combo hit. Yeah. Yeah, but. yeah and then I do the tick through here. Into the... Also, real quick, I just want to point out the meter again. <laughs> yeah. Dang, absolutely none. Yeah, you get, like, I think it's either 5 or 10% meter for the next, like, 8 seconds. It's... I think... Real bad. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So I'm pretty. I'm. I never knew about that about YRC. So mm -hmm. that's. I the... use that a lot, thinking I it was a little bit better defensive option, but I guess it does have a severe drawback, especially for a character that doesn't generate meter. Yeah, it like it is definitely good and important on its own, but yeah, the uh, <laughs> the cost there is significant for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I just I just see hammer bomb that thing hammer. Yeah. I'm just like fuck it. A hammer bomb down back. Got it. And, oh. oh, I got two. Oh, <laughs> you got hammer. so bailed out there. Holy shit. <laughs> the banana right, yeah, right in front of me when I got clipped. Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't mix mix there. Probably should have. Where was it? Oh. I guess Counter we're trying to focus to on... Well, actually, here, speaking of which... Speaking of neutral, now that the neutral has returned... Um... Yeah, I do an air dash here because I don't really mix in air dashes that much because fast 6 speed is so good. Mm -hmm. But, like, here it's, like, a situation where I was already jumping over stuff and doing a late air dash. Like, mm -hmm. maybe they're expecting me to hit the ground dash. But like... Yeah, I was trying to catch a landing with 2D. Yep, I figured. And I didn't want I to meant commit. to be close slash. <laughs> I didn't want to commit to a 2 edge. Yeah, that DP is really dumb. Uh, see, I don't... After the far slash, I, so I hit the previous far slash, and I got the right uh, timing to throw bomb bag. And then that one, you just completely ran underneath it. Well... So I was a little confused. This one, uh, I think the previous one was a counter hit, right? It, it would have to be because. Yeah. That, I, that it doesn't even actually combo on counter hit, but. And also, that one, there was a hammer also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I did 2H. That's, that's what it was. Yeah. Oh. Okay, also, yeah, what we were talking about at dinner the other day. This shit has very. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the recovery is not that bad. It's really not. <laughs> on uh on yeah. uh love. <laughs> but... Just 
Nice. Ooh, oh, uh, so here, I don't quick. know why I did that. So, that was just bad. as far as escaping the corner goes, that is like a very good option here. Is like I am not trying to get the hit. I want to leave. That is effectively what probably won you the round instead of getting like caught on something and hit through the wall. Yeah. I am... Yeah. See, what I've been trying to work on lately is a lot of people have been able to kill me by just keeping me at the wall. <laughs> so now I just don't want to be at the wall anymore. Like, I just yeah. don't want to die to a counter hit and Oof. lose the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm guessing this was just like trying to do H projectile, by the way. Yeah, it's because of the range I hit it at. I need to do like deep dash H projectile. And by that, I mean I have like a seven frame window to like get the meaty on Heavies. H projectile, but I need to dash as much as possible during it. Okay. And I just lost verge. Gotcha. But... I do want to point out right here, um, this has come up a couple times now. Uh, and Tyler under. Tyler has shown that he is ready to just block jump 2k and go straight under it for this. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't so. adapt at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would no say Leo watch has... out for this throughout this the set. Is it. Tyler's the only Leo that actually does this. Like, I've yet <laughs> to fight a Leo online, and I fought plenty, and no one dash, un uh, dash under close slash. Yeah. That's, this is just conditioning, because like, at this point, I haven't seen anyone who's been able to challenge me consistently. So this is a yeah. bad muscle memory. To be fair, I was surprised I got as many as I did, too. I need to relearn my muscle like... memory, because I 100,000% I'm in, uh... I'm in this situation. I'm like, aha! I'm gonna jump forward. That'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jump forward. And then like I jump block yeah. the bomb, and then Faust also blocks the bomb, and we get sent back to far slash range. And I'm like, why did I do this? Yeah. So oh, your far slash is cracked now, though. True. Oh, I did a proper combo route right there. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I did a risky mix up there because I <sighs> had like a billion meter. I didn't dash PRC there. Gotcha. Yeah, super. I'm probably going to safe jump here. Maybe a cross up because I know it's going to kill. No. Oh, I think I was trying to get to 100 meters so I could. I am astounded cover. that this did not cross up in the Yeah, corner. it's just barely. I think. Same. <laughs> there it is. I like that far slash and uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? And then... uh... Oh, right, it was this punish. Oh, yeah, no, I, I was like... Oh. This upset me. This, this upset is me. this is such a tragedy. Like, okay, why so, is it so active? So, question one. Were you aware that this dodges his reversal super? Or yep. were you gambling? No, I, okay. I was aware. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, I, it would dodge DP and well, I mean, at worst, I'd get dodge DP. By DP. Huh? It would get clipped by DP, and then I could recover before he came down. I mean, I had a hundred, I, I had fifty meter. If I was doing DP, it'd be DP RC, and then I get a kill. I, well, I you did reversal super here because I was calling out the fact that I think you were gonna throw me or something. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. Which Shout outs to I feel this like not should... poking the afro or something, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I'm also pretty sure doing that reversal super is super dumb of me. It's like, I have 50 meter, and it's way... I think it's better to force them to try to throw me than for me to try to counter hit their throw. Mm -hmm. Because it is so so much less risky for me to be like, I'll DPRC, and then see what happens after. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I definitely agree. Like, you were in a situation where you kind of had to go for a gamble because like the throw wouldn't have killed you but throw into rc might have killed you um so that was like a well, guess RC for game situation but i think i also could have just blocked it out if i thought they were just gonna like run up and hit a meaty because i don't think that would have actually crossed up it only crossed up because i did reversal super you, you know what's funny it. Mm -hmm. I think I was late on the cross up because yeah, I didn't you cross were. up your inputs. Yeah, I didn't cross up your inputs. Yep, that would have hit same side for sure. Because this should have this should have uh, made it so you couldn't get your super. Because I've done it to souls like mashing tyrant rave, and then they would just get something else. Yeah. 
So, for reference, um, be very careful about doing stuff like this, because, uh, strong players, some strong players, it seems to be way less common than I would expect, uh, will input this with forward, like, PH, and just get FD if you cross up. Mm hmm And then super if it is yeah. the correct direction. But, that's like, I don't know. If you see someone who is just blocking shit flawlessly all the time, Watch out for it, otherwise, well, yeah, whatever. Well, no, I, I'll, I'll mix it. I mix it up if they block it. But if I, they have, if they show me they can't block the cross up, then. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will say, in you know, just super slow mo hindsight vision mode, what should you have done here? I should have ran up. <laughs> I should have absolutely I mean, yeah. killed that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was like, I had meter. I could. Uh... But I, see, the thing is, I wasn't paying attention to burst. I was yeah. so dumb. I was so dumb. Uh, Actually, can you go back to uh, before the combo started? Burst. Sure. I should have paid attention to Burst, like... But yeah, to, in I my think... mind, I was like, I needed one more hit. I literally needed just one hit. I, I think the fact that you used uh, the... Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. It gave me the Burst back. I think if you just ran up and supered, I literally could not have Oh yeah, for sure. Super it. would have... Well, okay, as no, long as Super meter. was yeah. fast enough to reach... No, 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 no. See, like, literally all I should have done was just ran up Jump D, and I would hit your Afro, blow it up, and then I would just Super confirm from there. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. And right there, so right there, I was trying to Jump Cancel and bait the Burst, but... Oh, but it yeah. was close last it got... Yeah. Yeah, bursted. the closest I just got bursted, it so it didn't hit. Yep. Okay. I probably should have yeah, just sometimes that not happens. even done close slash. Probably should have just faked, fake jumped. Well, I think that the most important takeaway there is just to remember to check bursts. Um, yeah. Especially, <laughs> I'm gonna rewind one final time here. During this, you, what you should do, like just straight up. Once you see that the animation has landed and you visually confirm it, like right here, just do a four point check of meter, meter, burst, burst to like update your decision making. Um, because you're not doing anything else during that time except for maybe deciding what mix up you're going for. But just like making the meter check automatic is going to be very important. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, anyways, we've seen this. <laughs> now go back to that crossbow corner. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know I that Leo? See that again. <laughs> Did you know that this want... crosses up in the corner? I wanted to fuel my hatred. I I, I <laughs> so only did this as ambiguous. much that on oh Saturday because I know people don't remember this shit. This is God. exactly what we were talking about earlier, where uh, close slash close slash six H is an unblockable. This is also an unblockable. God. It just Wait, hits you. <laughs> It's the same side in corner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same yeah. thing. I mixed it up with an air throw there. Mm -hmm. And so, you just hundred percent just close slash me. Okay, so Well it was because I'm I was afraid I don't know why I went for it there, to be honest. I just kind of felt like air throwing because you were above me. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah. I think maybe I thought close slash wouldn't hit at that range because the hitbox is really wonky and hits really high, but I don't know how high sometimes. Because it just does not match the animation. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I do want to ask real quick, Dre. Um, what was the... So, like, when you were here, um, yeah. do you know why you selected Jump 2K? Uh, beat dump 2D. Okay. I was just afraid of 2D I at that point. I think your 5K also beats 2D now. I'm not sure. That'd be something to test. But also, uh, if you're afraid of me doing 2D, just block, because it's the true. safest option. It, yeah, I'm not used to that anymore. I'm, not, I'm still not used to yeah, that. Yeah, just like, <laughs> yeah, out it, of date knowledge, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah it's like, blocking there is your lowest commitment option that still also beats other options I have. Because if you do, like, jump 2k there, then it loses to me just dash blocking, or like, doing other stuff. Uh, or potentially like doing 6p run up block or just like try oh, to air to air you. So in this situation, I should just be 5k. Is that what you said? Well, it's like 5k or, or blocking or something. 
So it's, it's like, yeah, but I don't want you close to me. That's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I would say if you want a low commit defensive option, blocking here, if you're afraid of like a button is fine. Or if you want an offensive option, pressing 5k or 2p to check my ground movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because those are still fairly low commitment offensive options to check my movement. Especially 2p is really annoying for me. Because... I've been co I've been conditioned by you like clipping my 2p and getting the the knockdown, and that's why I stopped doing oh, it. Oh, with 2d. Okay, yeah. well then maybe like 5k is better there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 5k is the option. Okay. I just because it has such low recovery that I can whiff it and not really yeah. worry about getting counter hit. I will say the other thing is um I don't think two or jump 2k is the worst here, but you did it like pretty high. Well, see, I didn't think he was gonna dash forward i should have assumed he would because i was trying to catch uh oh it's like the a way second I... dash yeah okay and usually yeah. typically if i was trying to get it at the tip because then it's hard to 6p if i did get it if i did hit it on block or on block or hit because mm -hmm. if i hit jump 2k on hit you could just 6p if i'm close enough and it'll be every option i have yeah I'll block though if I do it at tip range, then bomb bag gets the pseudo safe. Okay. Cause I get, I still retain my jump. I still have double jump. Yeah. And then this. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah. Are you just know. like missing the meaty by a couple frames there, Tyler? <laughs> I th I think. Maybe. I mean, like... <clears throat> I, I think I missed it there, but I mean, doing a gold burst on a wake up is a reversal option, so it's just. I, something that happens sometimes. So I'm not sure you can actually always gold burst on wake up. I'm not. It well, might just be a one frame window, but like if you do it early, it buffers a blue burst. Yeah. Also, his neck is definitely broken. Uh, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> yeah, I see bomb and meteors and shit. So I'm. I okay. What well, the fuck? What? Hold up. <laughs> I missed to confirm. <laughs> oh, the hammer hit the bomb back and back I over just... there. Yeah, I, I definitely lost it in the meteors too. <laughs> also, by the way, that back dash that was supposed to be a dash block. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, real quick. The, oh, shout, shout out to Five H not giving me the follow up at tip range. On which part? Let's see. Uh, scalpel. The far, then I'm gonna do far slash into Five H. So, I was going to say, that, that scapel just gets killed, right? Yeah. It's so, so. slow, I, I don't know why I did it. Okay, that's I what why. I was going to ask, was just like, what was the decision making here? It's uh, such uh, a bad option, especially on block against, with Trumpet as backup. I really could have just done 5k 2.8, uh, I... 5k 2d, or like 5k 6h, or like any kind of mix. So... Honestly, one thing that keeps popping up for me while I'm watching this, like, when you get the ability to do pressure, uh, especially up close in particular, um, you're... I don't think I've seen you use close slash outside of combos yet, and that is, like... Close slash is the massive, air quotes, party starter normal, because <laughs> it has the yeah. highest number of cancel options and is generally the safest. <laughs> Maybe for you it does. No, yeah, it's something Shut up, that, Leo that's, player. <laughs> that's something I'm still working on uh, doing. Okay, but yeah, I, I would uh, say that that is like a big meaties. focus point. Um, yeah. I mean, 5k as a meaty nowadays is... like does, It doesn't Gatling into 2s, which sucks. But... Or 2h, actually. Mm -hmm. But uh, it seems to be better in a lot of ways because it's just... The, the problem with close hatch is that it's active frame, or it's, I don't know, I get thrown when I do it wrong. So okay. 5k just kind of covers back dash and it stops you from getting thrown. Um, that's something I've been practicing too. I Honestly, that just sounds like you're trying to do uh, close slash at 5k timing, but, well, even then, there's only like one frame of difference between them. Um. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'll have to mix, mess with it and practice both. Sure. Yeah, I, just this part, I don't. <laughs> I don't okay. know why I did scalpel. Maybe I was trying to throw something or... Yeah, right there. So, uh, going back to the far slash. Ah. 
wrong active window, sorry. Right, uh, stu scalpel. Stu scalpel. Far slash. So that should have been 2 H, but 5H mm -hmm. right there should have had a. I was mashing the five the follow up. It, it doesn't do work at edge range, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it technically should because it's just an, an, a button on it. Well, it doesn't do the uh the like. It, it, it's a it different hitbox at the tip. It's a so. Yeah, it's like a hitbox. It's like a a hit throw. Mm -hmm. So hit at grab. range, it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it, a tip. Yeah, that's just one of those things you just gotta know for confirming and stuff. Um, yeah, but far slash two H should have been a better punish there, and then I would have got item. Okay. I need to learn my combo off of counter hit two D. Combo from two D. Okay. Cause I got way too many of those into drop combos, or just none. Oh man, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Let me yeah, rewind can... this whole sequence here. Were you... Oh, trying to bait a YRC. Uh, something like that, I guess. I don't know. It's like, I'm like, kind of baiting a YRC, but like, tick resetting my pressure. Okay. At the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's actually that good. Um, I you would... Can, like, mash out of it on reaction. I was gonna say, uh, the... In that situation, I think... Uh, 2P is probably just a safer version of that because you can like 2B or 2P flicker faultless for a second and then press again or like tick throw off of it. That's what I've been trying to use anyways. But yeah. uh, jumping is also like not the worst thing ever. It works sometimes. Yeah. I, I think that that was a good mash to take space. Also, I didn't realize that Faust 5P and 2P were both can were like cancelable both ways there. <laughs> yeah, you can reverse cancel. Okay. I mean, can most characters do that? Um, maybe. I'm not sure. No, what can. happened to his hand? <laughs> well, as you can it's see, it has been chopped here. off by the uh, <laughs> the sword. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Did you already throw the trumpet? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. I. So here, I yeah. see. I hear. I should have. After I got the 2P, I realized I should have just ran up and thrown and put them in the corner instead. Would have been a be better mm -hmm. option. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go for, like, something committal, sure. Well, I just, and just to avoid the situation of Trumpet, because at that point, if they block, then they're guaranteed to get the Trumpet if I do a block string, because they'll get pushed into it. So that's actually what I was going to yeah. say, is here, you do have the ability to do, like, far slash, uh, mix, 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 and, like, push them out of it, and then you have meter but also the minions might just cover it yeah i mean i think also there you could do a scarecrow prc to get behind me and then yeah. just push me back into the corner that's mm -hmm. that's another thing is if i do i think 2p on block into scarecrow cancel s s scarecrow and uh use meter <laughs> i would instantly be where the trumpet lands because it's amidst the scarecrow comes down mid screen and the trumpet if if I throw it at the corner, it goes into mid screen. So there's like certain spacings where I can guarantee trumpet pickup with meter. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna mark down uh, things to work on, playing around like trumpet spacing and stuff, and shoving your opponent around, so to speak, to get yeah. them out of the way. Yeah, I went for a double overhead there because I had the minions to cover yep. some of it. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, well, I have technically triple it. overhead. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes you just get got. <laughs> Although I don't know if doing the whole PRC shtick was really necessary. Because I think <laughs> you were close enough to just do it. Well, yeah, it's... It was 2K, so like... I, I will say... I didn't want you trying to reversal super me or something. I wanted to. I, mean, uh, I wanted to mess first. up your inputs. So okay. I mean, we're gonna go back to the thing we talked about meter, earlier but... with meter. Yeah, uh, and yeah. specifically it is Leo. So like, you cannot mess up the left right on the flash kick. Um, yeah. I think that the PRC scarecrow here is not a bad thing. I think which scarecrow you picked is very risky though, because. If, like, say Tyler did successfully, like, press 2P here and hit you, 
Yeah. You are now cornered against him. Um, and he is threatening wall break. Yeah. Which is like, it's the sort of thing where you are, like, you probably won't die, even if he, I mean, he'd have to get, like, counter hit 2H starter and get meter, and even then you might not be dead. Yeah. But this is one of the few options that you could pick that does put you at risk of losing the game here immediately. Yeah, like, not enhanced. Right, like, I could get one opening, then just run away with the game. Which yep. I have done several times. And I already, <laughs> I already have corner. The only thing yeah. I was worried about was burst at this point, mm -hmm. or d DP. And I, I also think just throw away the 50 meter for like a slightly better mix, rather than being like, I'll take the okay mix and then have the 50 meter if they happen to get out, or 50 meter to just confirm or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. having the meter there, it, it, like it's something I'll do as Milia on the rare occasions I get to have meter. Um, is just be like, hello, I have 50 meter and I'm going to close slash you. And I'm just gonna yeah. do 2s because you're gonna be like, ah, oh, yes, 50 meter. Here comes the bad moon, and then I'm going to do it again next time because I have not actually cashed out my threat. Uh, it's sort of yeah. like if you see people bait burst like four times. It's like, nice, I got three extra health bars from this, and I have my burst. <laughs> I think something that's like kind of relevant to Leo, at least, is when you have uh, 50 meter, I have to be wary of it when I'm in back turn, no matter what. Because I can do the safe mix that is <coughs> safe to the uh, super, but it is always kick slash heavy with n n like no mix until the heavy slash until after the heavy slash so if i want to be safe to the reversal super i have to press kick slash heavy and then do mix afterward so having 50 meter makes that more likely to happen or uh mm -hmm. or just you know you do the reversal super and then uh they were trying to do advanced mixed so i get out yeah yep okay anyways this does work out yeah. And Foss strikes the fancy pose as he kills. <laughs> God, that really does go that so far. It. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, okay. A, uh, the 5k here is really good because it's fucking seven frames. It covers jump. It covers dash. It covers, I think... Every button that you have, Tyler, that is isn't reversal. Think... I think that Faust, with this and his 2P, is just the ultimate round start character. I think maybe 2K or yeah, 2D 2K. would 2K get under it, it, but I'm not 2K sure. Are you, or uh, 2K, 2K wouldn't we'll reach. Just yeah. Yeah. I oh, don't. Round start? Uh, so, okay. Yeah. So it would have with punished it before. I think that this hits fairly low now. I'm not sure which one would win. Uh, yeah. Just round start DP. I hate <laughs> doing that, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, my 2D just loses to it. Just it's live too your active. life. Just live your life. Round start, to, round start HDP. Okay, if I have 50 meter, I'll do it. On round start, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, okay. Anyways, so the 5k I think was very good. Also, this is just like a godlike round start option in general now. Oh, sorry, uh, 6p. 6p would beat this, but that's like, yeah, that's 6P that loses it. to everything else. Um, however, I want you to watch the amount of space that you give up from Tyler just moving and not committing to things. Yeah. Because he already Wait, has you far like, slash a third of the way to the corner. Yeah, like, the fact that this whiff punished is, like, legitimately wild. Wait, and, uh, wait, wait You wait, hit his fun. fucking elbow? And that's the I, option I was doing to stuff bro. 2D. I mean, I just whiff punished it after you did it, but, like, I'm, I'm so surprised that hit. Same. But, anyways, that's not the part that I want to necessarily focus on, is, like, you... Like, Leo is scary, but you outrange him with faster buttons at, like everywhere outside like past the range of where your scapel is to you right now on the screen yeah so in theory you want to be the one threatening with buttons here obviously watch out for the 2d you know with punish and all that but it's like by default i think in this matchup faust should be the pace setter and leo is the one who has to force his way in somehow 
Yeah, the thing is, I've been playing passive and neutral a lot more lately because mm -hmm. a lot of people just don't respect the buttons and just 6P. Like, it literally beats every button I have except 2H. Well, I mean, pressing 6P is respecting the button as an option because they know it's so good that you want to press it, so they press 6P to counter it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have forced it. Well, so do you re also remember that, so like, say you're here, right? You're like, you're walking back and Tyler dashes up. He sees where you're at and goes, oh god, get me out of here. I'm assuming this might be a failed dash block, but we'll say it's a like purposeful, <laughs> I need to adjust the spacing because that is like a very valid decision at this range. Um, hey, just backdash the far slash. Let's say he had pressed 6p here instead. Uh, if you press far slash at the same time, it just loses. But... So you can either crush that directly with 2H, which is, you know, like a pretty big commitment and call out, um, or you can wait and whiff punish the 6P with far slash. Yeah. You also I'm, have the timing mix up. I am really bad at that. Like with punishing people 6Ps is something I'm just not good at. I can't react to it fast enough. Same. So same, you, there are some people who can just be like, aha, I saw a move start. I'm pressing a button and with punish. Um, I will point out that generally, I think people think of with punishing as, okay, I have seen the move is active. Now it's time to move. But what you want to actually do is see the move start up and be like, okay, I know how long this takes. I'm going. Because otherwise yeah, yeah. you will just be way too late. <clears throat> um but you can also just like be here and like threaten a far slash and then instead e okay i'm going to try not to tangent too hard on this uh tyler please stop me if i do <laughs> um <laughs> options in fighting games i like to think of sort of like cards in like i don't know magic Yu -Gi Oh, whatever you know competitive card game of some sort um where you have cards in your hand that you can like select from one of them would be, for example, immediate far slash. You could also choose, uh, and like turns are roughly like reaction time chunks, <laughs> you could say. Uh, you could also have the card in your hand that is walk back for like five or ten frames and then far slash. And it's like you're not necessarily reacting to them 6ping and with punishing, but the risk on that is that they take, like, a little bit more space. Like, maybe they'll get in if they really commit, like, right here to dash 5k. Um, but you can, like, sort of hedge your bets there as well. Just be like, okay, well, I'm just going to vary the timing so much that their 6p is way less likely to work. Because you always want your opponent to have to commit to something um, that you do not have to commit to counter. That is, like, mm. the go-to goal of everything. Because whoever uh, commits first is punishable. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, they are taking an option <laughs> where they can no longer block. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. But, um, yeah. so having just, like, even sort of canned timing mix-ups can be a big help for situations like this. Hmm, yeah. Yeah. Especially since, like, even even if I don't 6P here, and instead I'm like, oh, he didn't press anything, I want to try to dash block again. You might just catch me dashing on my dash startup and not when I'm blocking mm -hmm. by just doing a delayed far slash. Yep. So, like, kind of covers that as well. Yeah. I know that far slash isn't really reactable all the time. Yeah, far That's slash is 12 frames. Uh, that is not in human reaction time. Yeah. So you'd have to preempt your unblockable. 6Ps. Yep, they will always have to guess against it. Yeah, I could have gotten more there. off that hit, but... I'm just said easy confirm, baby. Yep. Godlike reaction. I hit overhead into a throne. <laughs> yeah, I, I caught your backdash, I think. Something. Okay. Was backdash then impressive timing? Okay, yeah, oh, you know, cut the hit. like the dash afterwards into something. Uh, it, it counter hit. I think I tried to six p it, but I did it too mm, late. Gotcha. Double jump because two fucking weights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's where you I... started running under more, so I mix mix it out. 
No, double jump. <laughs> Bro, where did I call slash go <laughs> Oh. Uh. Yep. Oh, yeah, so this is this is for sure the correct option, and then you just make sure you press RC behind it. But oh, also, yeah, no, I 100% uh, was. have you, uh, have, you, have you learned the, uh, the dragon wheelchair super setup yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I figured, but I, I had to ask. <laughs> it's, it's hard to car it. I've been practicing. Yeah, but... I, I believe it. That is definitely like, you picked the correct option. I was just curious. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, that's that's where I was afraid of DP. I was just trying to bait DP. Yeah, see, right. And I haven't like DP'd much this set, so like I'm kind of surprised I didn't. But I think I was just like, well, it's kind of early in the round. I don't know if I really <laughs> want to do it. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> putting it past you. <laughs> I mean, that like that can be fine, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, I actually, I think, I think that everything is here is really to... good, with the exception of doing this jump 2k. Um, I think that just holding this position is way more threatening, because, like, right here, or if you take, like, a half step back, uh, Leo's far slash and 5h will just not hit you. Yeah. And his jump arc goes straight through your 6p. Where, uh, yeah. so you can, like, force him to pick something without you having to commit, which is, it well, goes back to, like, the e goal. I think even at this range, it's fine, because 5k and 2p are really big, like, checks to what I want to do as well. Because, like, jump out gets caught by 5k. 5k actually catches me, like, running at you, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and 5k so is, like, this is where an option where if I utilize 5k more, that would be dangerous. Yeah, because that's why I'm kind of afraid to move forward with anything that's not a dash block here. Because I'm like, there's kind of just like an array of buttons that could counter what I want to do. Yeah. And I can't yeah. like, I can't make room to make you whiff because you're close to me now. Yeah. So I'm like, so safe options only. And the, the thing to really emphasize here is that you do not have to press 5k or 2p or whatever you are threatening them just by standing here. So you, yeah. like, you should press them at some point for sure, but, like, you can target things or choose to play more passively, and the Leo has to take a much bigger guess, whereas this is the equivalent of, like, getting your afro set up and then doing 2p as a meaty. It's like you, you have, like, a safe jump or a left-right 50-50, and you're, like, in a really good position, and then you're just like... But I have to do something. Go, go, go. I don't want Leo to dash 5k and all of a sudden now I have to guess. I mean, dash That's... 5k is like pretty slow. So like... I don't know. It just seems really, in my mentality, it's it's just like it's super fast to me. And that's, so I mean, like, I've been that, conditioned that right to play... Really good. Yeah, it's I not within... to play preemptively do it. Uh, well, okay. So it's not within reaction time. You do have to call it out preemptively. But also, um, you can, like, threaten it with 5k and 2p while keeping yeah. this situation. Um, this actually ends up working out, because, Tyler, I don't know if you like dash blocks late or, like, what exactly here, but you do manage to reset the situation. Um, and then he just, I mean, like, look at the situation you're in. He does win the interaction, but he has to, like, risk this whole movement and this 2k. So just, like, the yeah. general risk-reward of the scenario favors you significantly. He just, yeah. like, ended up guessing right here. And that just, like, happens sometimes. Yeah, and there's that situation again. Yeah, where I, I, I saw it early. I, actually. I saw it earlier, and it worked, and then I tried to do it again, and I died. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just muscle memory tricking me. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, beat the wire seed. Yeah, beat yep. it. Was that um an auto bait, by the way? Because the second hit of jump S didn't hit. Um, I don't really know. I just sort of bait Y or C, and then usually they either Y or C or don't get hit. So I, I'm Fair like enough. confirm into pressure. <laughs> okay. 
Those sure were items that interacted. I was gonna say, Dre is definitely just doing the Faust thing of playing around his items well. Oh god, I remember this round. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <so> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Do you know how many just pressing H I missed? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, and I think. Yeah, I think that was like my first 6P in neutral, by the way. <laughs> Oof. Also, what the fuck was that? I was trying to... I don't know. No, it's like it's my own... Uh... Yeah, he, oh. he's talking about doing the turbulence there and having it whiff the wrong way. <laughs> oh my god. I, I hate this round. Okay. This round is disgusting. <laughs> okay, here's good. Kind of. Yeah. God, so much stuff went wrong for me here. It's mostly just misinputs, I think. Yeah, round start DP, baby. You did it, Tyler. You're going to hell. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, or I guess that this was off of meteors. Close slash pressure starter. Hell yeah. Yeah. He backdashes, so you don't get like a massive reward, but that is still just a good situation in general. Oh yeah, banana. <laughs> I still don't understand how banana works. Uh, okay, it's real That's simple. Right, don't do anything. It's real simple. A banana falls on the ground. The first person to step on it uh, inhales it through their shoes. <laughs> they get some health back. Uh, it leaves a banana peel. It is just a passive active hitbox that immediately puts you into soft knockdown. Okay. I think you can dash, you block, can dash block into it, yeah. Yeah, you can. Geos do it all the time. Yeah, 6 8. I was gonna say, oh, I think. And then that... I missed the sweet spot. I was trying to get the sweet spot to end the round. Okay, so. And the, no RC to be. So, the yeah, that, yeah, there's two things here. Uh, three things, actually. So, A, real good job just being like, there's a banana, fuck off. <laughs> um, But you do a good job of holding space here with, like, Far Slash and just, like, really threatening it. Um. I think that this scapel is fine because when you actually pressed it, he was over oh. here, so you like you couldn't react to the fact that he had already committed Dashed pretty him. hard to a dash. And like it's covered by hammer, so whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Dre? The hammer just makes it you could press. Basically I want you any to button. press Red Roman cancel literally one hundred percent of the time here. <laughs> well no, I was looking for the sweet spot. If I hit I the sweet spot, press it I anyways. Get my... <laughs> Precedent, like if you hit the sweet spot, See, cool, it kills. You don't get the RC. The thing is, if, if you, you miss the sweet spot, th there is no window before the sweet spot where it just it just a soft knockdown. Anything after it? You you they roll you waste meter and you don't get a follow up. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm plus enough, but it seems like a bad situation to spend fifty on. Tyler, did you I mean, throw? It was to confirm a kill. Wait, well, wait. I mean, like, I mean, like, it would be an Oki situation. Like, mm -hmm. I couldn't, there's no OTG or anything. Oh, yes. <laughs> the throw. <laughs> this is what I was, I, I, I talked, I was like, I, nice yeah, I like, remember so hearing you, you be like, what did you do? <laughs> yeah. What are you I doing? I was did just you like, throw? I think I was just like, don't at me, bro. That I hated that game. <laughs> that Tyler's brain was still tilted from uh, the first round of that set. <laughs> Yeah, I think I did a lot of jumping there because I didn't want the afro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, burst. What? I, I think I forgot what I was this trying to do. This has to there. just be an input error for sure, right? Yeah, I think I was going for another six H, but I did the whole two three six H. Thing. Okay, sure. Like down back to H and two. Yeah. <laughs> Fingies. I didn't, I didn't clean it up. Oh, it's combo drop. Yeah, see, that's yeah, what happens. Nana. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's throw. I was actually trying to double jump there and you threw me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was probably just a punish there. Okay, that was a wake up <laughs> uh, DPRC, by the way. <laughs> I did it so bad. Oh, I should have killed. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then you hit me. Yep. I think I died here. Yeah, you did for that. Yeah. The, the cross of Berserker Slash. Yeah, I bursted because I just wanted the round. I don't know if it was great, but... 
I feel like I kind of just need my need to use my burst more against boss. See, right there. Okay, go back. That was the two H six P. That was definitely it. Okay, yeah, I, okay. You I, were too I just close. got in range. Yeah, yeah. yeah you were too close. Uh, I just knew I pressed two H. Okay. Yeah, like, this yep. Is scum. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know why I would dash six P there, but you know, we're we're chilling. Yeah, I was trying to throw there. Uh, yeah, I actually saw oh, that. Man. It looks like. I don't know, it looked like it whiffed. It was late. I was trying to get you out of back turn. Did confirm, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think I baited the burst too much. Or what, yeah. I should have just taken it, you have no health. See, that should have been a safe jump. I don't know what I did there. Oh, I can't believe I dropped that. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, no punish? <laughs> yeah, that's where yeah. I was... You, you won the game right there, by the I way. Was hurting, <laughs> I was hitting myself, I'll tell you. And that's it, that's it. That, <laughs> works. that actually works, but I don't know why. Did you FD? Okay, go back. Did you FD the mix, mix, mix hit? No, no. no. you, you, you right. hit him. Oh, he got hit. He was still in yeah. stun. Uh, no one ever. <laughs> everyone always blocks that. Tyler is holding down the DP. <laughs> well, I know I was doing the the instant overhead jump E to stop you from charging. Well, now charges anyway. Yeah, just to ignore the hit. All right, game's yeah, different. Here. Yeah, I was jumping back way too much here. There it is, yeah. 6H, let's mm -hmm. go! Yeah, burst to try and I steal corner. And like, it's early, which is probably a good burst time against Foss. Well, I, I don't burst the steal corner, but just to corner Foss. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I should don't want to go over there. There it is. How do I get hit with five things? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is what we call a Foss little... round. Foss round. I think I win this round, by the way. Yeah, this is where I was like, I spent so much meter. So... By the way, I do want to point out real quick. Um, why did you do item super here? <laughs> um, I was just like, I'm on a roll. Okay, so <laughs> two H hits I'm here. The new you do not have to cancel because the minions are right there. If you had done either the other if super mix, mix, mi or yeah. a combo, you would have killed here, I believe. Yeah, I should have two H mix mix mix, and then I could have supered off the mix mix. Oh uh, yeah. That was such a the, late cancel. The the cross ups killed me. Mm -hmm. I was actually kind of surprised this wall broke. Or no, it just killed actually. Yeah, it was just straight up killed. Yeah, that wouldn't have wall broke. It wasn't on the screen yet. Yeah, I was trying to jump 2k the 2d. Too. Yeah, okay. I, didn't... I was curious, actually, when you said earlier that that was your anti-2d measure about whether it worked because of the way 2d is. Uh, this confirms it. <laughs> I I think 2d might just win in that situation no. in general. Oh, gross. Well, I confirms it kind of bad this set. There's this close slash equals gold. I think mm -hmm. playing as Foss makes my confirms worse. <laughs> you gotta think uh, about too much other stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. Do I bait the burst here? No, I go in for a uh, throw. Uh, well, uh, that is effectively baiting the burst, because you're like, oh, if you cannot burst this. Though I guess the hit would have killed two on whatever at this life. Pushed out. Uh, <laughs> Look at how high up I can RC, by the way. No, the funny part is you should have killed me when I didn't cancel jump 2k at that height. <laughs> hey, don't worry. But like, yeah, okay, also, I was I already wanna... dead. I was already dead before this. I do want to point out, because uh, you were curious about this 2s before. Yeah, look at this. There's 2s. Look at this. <laughs> and then he just That's flies in disjoint. after it. That's my disjoint. <laughs> it's, it's already There's over. no hurt box there. Gorilla does not care. <laughs> Okay, I'm just loop it back from the start. Um, so I guess 
To be honest, I think we mostly ended up talking about Dre here. Uh, Tyler, do you think you got, like, a decent amount from watching it, at least? Do you have, like, notes you want to add? I don't know. Don't fucking drop my combos. I don't know. Because, like, a lot of stuff in neutral, I'm like, I see why I do that. And for the most part, it, like, worked. But Dre also wasn't, like, pressing stuff, like, 5k. So, like, I don't know how well it would work against that. Mm hmm and I was—I think I was a lot more comfortable with just sitting and blocking and watching Dre try to press buttons, and then trying to do something after, mm -hmm. which I think overall is good. And that's something like I started doing with Moon River too, where I would just sit there and take the shots, and just be like, "All right, eventually you're gonna do something else, or you're gonna run out of resources or something." Mm -hmm. So it's like, I think my approach to neutral was fine for the most part. Mix up just blocking with uh, trying to advance. Okay, Alexa. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think I would agree with that. I think that in this... Uh... Alexa. Fuck up. <laughs> I think that in Alexa. this set... Um... Ten volume five. <laughs> Kyle strikes again while not even being here. Alexa, stop talking! <laughs> Okay. Oh, Alexa, I... turn off computer. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Tyler suddenly leaves the call. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that overall, uh, you were playing neutral very well against the options presented, and you were the one who was doing better about uh, committing less. Is I guess what I'd say, or like using, I guess like using movement to force options without committing as much yourself. Um, yeah, I I was using uh less commit committal options to make dre do more committal options mm -hmm. um i do think that as the sets Isn't went on you also <laughs> so like it is but normally i feel like it would be Faust who would be doing the less committal options i don't know these characters quite well enough to say for sure on a matchup level though um I don't know what you think, Tyler. It, honestly, it's probably like 50-50 on each side now that I think about it. Because yeah, they both like, have I good have tools like... to... Yeah. Yeah, because it's like... <laughs> da dashing and blocking are just like really non-committal. And the most... The, like, what Foss is going to do to take advantage of me doing not very committal stuff is just throw items, which will eventually snowball, but has like an RNG percent chance of just not mattering. <laughs> True. So... It's it's like yeah I I I'll take the risk of the snowball item start to just be like I will not you have to call out me not doing something for it which you are doing something more committal than me which I am just blocking and you are throwing an item mm -hmm. so that's still fine for me I think that honestly really? like the response there that I would expect from Faust is mostly some combination of five P two P and five K to like push back um because like they won't catch dash block necessarily but they will push you back to the further range again it's just like yeah start over try again um and if they hit you then he gets like damage and the ability to start snowballing mm -hmm. yeah um, but yeah i i think that the other takeaway that i saw for you diamond mew was a. Uh, like, A, you adjusted pretty well as the set went on to just using the unblockable more. <laughs> but we'll see. Like, that's one of those things that, like, use it a bunch. Just be careful not to let it become, like, a real-ass habit. Um, I'm sure you know that yeah. already, though. <laughs> um, and, yeah, just, like, there were some combo things in there. But, like, it, you know, day, what, eight of the patch? <laughs> so... Checks out. Well, I'm Kinda dropping the com I'm dropping combos I had pre-patch, and they're not different. I Shush. <laughs> um, yeah. For Dre, I think that uh, like we talked more about your stuff throughout. I think so. A lot of this will probably just end up being recap. But like, on the one hand, definitely things like uh, when you do get pressure starters using like close slasher 5k and things like that that are higher reward and higher option set so to speak um yeah. is going to be really important <clears throat> as well as just like paying attention to meters like you're playing fast so you do have 
the changing game state to keep track of regularly as well. But that's like that is something that comes with playing the character. So you'll want to try to make sure yeah. that you find a way to do both. Yeah, that's the thing that annoys me is that because Tyler can kill me most of the time a lot faster than I can kill him, he'll have burst a lot more than I do. So I don't want to be in situations where uh, I would try to start my pressure and then we get put in a bad situation by his burst defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is yeah. A, that's definitely something that I think both of you actually have to watch for, though, because if you successfully burst him you have re-entered your, like, strong position where he is now at full screen and you get, like, an item toss or something. Or just to, yeah. like, poke with normals. Um, yeah, I think... Hmm? Uh, well, while we're talking about burst, I think something that could help is exclusively saving burst for when I get back turn. That's because what I do. Because when I am in back turn... Yeah, because when I'm in back turn, I have zero ways of calling out your burst other than dashing out of range or canceling back turn mm -hmm. so it is almost a guaranteed burst whereas if you use burst on like a mix like dash 5k and then i have like two options afterward then it's like not as worth as just getting out of my win condition for free yeah i uh i will so pre-patch i literally would exclusively burst turbulence because it was just a guaranteed burst point, and I'm like, I do not want to deal with the fucked up mix. Um, nowadays, it's like back turned meaties. Like, if I see him do the cross through dash, then sometimes I'll just be like, no, I do not want to. Um, or, like, I don't know, I see him do a dash cancel in, and I'm like, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I Good. think that the number one thing that stood out to me throughout this game, though, uh, was none of that, actually. Um, it, it's, like, related to the, like, the method of poking. Um, I think that you autopilot jump 2k in a lot of situations where it's not always, like, the best option. I think yeah. that, like, That's, as I'm just it, watching I... through, especially the second time, I think that using jump 2k is the most consistent thing that goes, oh, Dre is going to lose the round here. Oh, no, for sure. And it was the, it was the fact that I didn't have a good option for 2d, dash 2d, is why I autopilot against Leo. Gotcha. Yeah, now I would that just I have, say... like, a significantly good option, because, <laughs> like, every time I'd be at far slash range, I'd far slash, oh, nope, 2d beat that. Uh, it's a, what's the next option? Jump 2k? Okay. So I can't 6h, 2h, because the, the dash 2k, 2d will just beat that too. Gotcha. So it's like I went through a laundry list of options and jump 2k was the only one I could reliably do to prevent dash 2d stuff. Okay. But I think Now that, that it's like punishable and I have 5k, through... it's... Huh? Yeah. Well, I, I was going to say even without that, I think that if you're going to try and use jump 2k defensively like that, you basically have to do the TK version, right? Where you're like really low to the ground. Yeah. Because otherwise you just like get punished like that. I I legitimately think that that is like the most significant thing um, from like your end throughout this match is just trying to make sure that every time you press jump 2k, it is for a specific reason. Yeah. Yeah. I know I have a, I have a, definitely had similar habits in the past, so I am well aware of how difficult that that can be, but, like, just, like, in tower, just try and fight matches or, like, casuals or something where you're like, I literally do not care about the outcome of this match. I am just not going to fucking jump 2k the instant my brain tells me to. Yeah. I think part of the reason I go for that, I choose that height is to ensure I don't lose my low dump 2k to like a preemptive 2d or something or get clipped by far slash by accident i okay. don't know there's like, there's some like, like it, it definitely other factors too it hits further but like every little bit that you go up um both increases the startup and effectively makes it more negative on block so yeah. just like keep in mind the risk when you're doing it yeah i think the, the biggest takeaway is that tyler's the only leo i've ever fought that could put punish it reliably so i just never the risk reward for me was like oh hey this seems free they're not Fair punishing enough. me for it and then i noticed also that tyler never uses s as projectile 
So <laughs> I don't like throwing it against Faust, really. Mm -hmm. uh, the he... Leos I've done it do it to uh, hit me when I'm far slashing. Yeah, see me it's, like far slash of... hit... it's like what? good outside of like 2H range because if, if I press a uh, projectile and you hit 2H, I fucking explode. And it's like. Yeah, no, that's a bad. That's a good. That's a counterplay on my end and a bad option for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like but... if I'm outside of 2H range. What is my projectiles doing? <laughs> it's stopping you from far slashing, I it's, guess. It's stopping me from uh, six H and scalpel. Yeah, I I mean I guess, but like I'll just block those. I don't like pressing S projectile is too too risky for my liking, for the options it beats. I am curious yeah. if H projectile is good in this worthwhile matchup? at all at that range instead, because I think that the reason you don't do it is. I'm assuming Faust can just scapple on reaction. Um, but if you're, like, calling out an item each. toss or something, then you can be like, hello. I am I mean, coming if in. Just... <laughs> if I'm calling out an item toss, though, I, I'd rather just get closer. Fair. To, like, personally. I think itch projectile is kind of bad, because if I see it, I just start throwing items like crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you, you can, like, throw two items and then, like, tap D to reflect it, and I'm just like, oh... Right, I forgot Foss had a reflector. Because I was thinking of it as, like, an alternative way of being like, hey, I'm coming in. Um, like you were saying, like, take space with the projectile instead of with your, you know... I was going to say corpse for some reason, I think, because I just watched someone die. But, uh, <laughs> you know, with, like, actually moving there yourself. Uh... Yeah. Okay. All right. I, mean, uh, I might any... try throwing. What's up? Eh, I don't know. I might try throwing projectile more just to see how it do be, but like, I I've got counter hit out of it way too many times to like it. That's fair. The yeah. It's just S to S D. Well, if you H, I can react to H. S is hard to react to sometimes. Yeah, S you can't react to, but it like it doesn't really get him a whole lot in that situation. But, yeah, okay. it just it literally just there to stuff me from poking because you know over time be like oh yeah I'm getting a lot of damage just getting hit by these S projectiles so I'm stop. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, does anyone have any final thoughts on that? Because I think that we have been over the vod plenty. I think we have a decent amount to take to like work on afterwards and stuff like that. Um, but I guess first things first, Tyler. Uh, do you have any things you want to add to the list of things to, like, practice or lab? Um, not entirely. Maybe for, like, like, uh, I guess continue labbing my options on offense. I know we didn't really talk about it during this match, but mm -hmm. I <laughs> didn't really see it come up that often because I was often not really getting my stuff blocked. Yeah. It was more so I was just getting hit, so it's kind of hard to see yeah uh, what would help but just the uh, flushing out my options in on offense and people need to realize that they can backdash a lot of leo stuff and back turn although i, I yeah specifically back <laughs> yeah, that, yeah imagine <laughs> yeah uh cries in four frame backdash <laughs> <laughs> i mean you could still backdash like some stuff. True. I think. I know. I Something to lab for me. Yeah. Alright, what about you, Dre? Things to practice or lab? Uh, I work on 5k stuff more. Like, close slash stuff I've been working on this whole time. So it's not, it's just something I'm working on my muscle memory. Uh, then, yeah, jump 2k against. I, I know that now I have better options against Leo, and like the scariest thing about him isn't as scary anymore. Mm -hmm. So, just being able to change that muscle memory and playing more reactively, I guess. Oh. Okay. Hmm. What's up? Well, I, was, I started laughing counter hit 2D stuff because I had Strive open. And uh, if I time my. Uh, Berserker Slash really well. I can get a meaty back turn K. So, I might actually just do that. 
Oh, from... Oh, yeah, counter hit 2D. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. I think we'll go ahead yeah. and cut it there, then.